Hey folks, OpenAI have just released GPT-4, and I wanted to do a quick dive into what this means and some of the new features compared to GPT-3.5 Turbo and previous models. So let's get into it. Okay, first up, and the biggest and most impactful change is the new visual input system, where you can actually take a screenshot or upload an image and have GPT describe exactly what's in that image. Now, this has got a few amazing potential use cases, and you might have seen other apps like Socratic and Math Explanation apps use this already. So it'll be really interesting to see exactly how impactful GPT-4 is for these use cases. And there are a couple of other really interesting use cases. If you're short-sighted or have difficulty seeing, you can actually upload an image and then get a full description of what's happening. GPT-4 will also be able to create captions for images, which is going to save a heck of a lot of time for blog writers if you need to write alt image descriptions, which can be really, really time consuming. Another really cool use case here that you might have already seen in translation apps is being able to upload a sign in a foreign language and then get that translated at the press of a button direct from your phone. A use case I'm also really interested in is how this can generate instructions from individual screenshots. If you've got a physical product where you might need to have sequential images that then show someone how to actually use that product, this can then be broken down automatically by GPT-4 and have that explained so you can actually create your own instruction manuals directly from the images, saving lots of time and effort. Now, there's a heck of a lot of other use cases for the visual input system, which we'll explore in a further video, but let's move on to the next big feature. The next major feature update is the longer context where you can enter up to 25,000 words and get a response of a similar size. This is really exciting for people who want to upload documents but were previously limited by the shorter context size of GPT-3 and previous language models. Now, the use cases here are absolutely huge. You can start generating full blog articles where previously copywriters were gonna be limited by the size of the response and the input. But I think most excitingly is that ability to actually upload longer form content like a PDF and then have that broken down all automated in one rather than having to chunk that up or be limited by the prompt or the response size. Now, OpenAI have been building GPT-4 for quite some time, and it's been shown to outperform ChatGPT and GPT-3.5 Turbo in a number of different tests and exams. One of the features that I'm really excited about is just the improved accuracy and the creativity and advanced reasoning capabilities of GPT-4. GPT-4 promises improved accuracy and lots more creativity, with OpenAI suggesting that it'll be able to write and edit songs and even movie scripts with more interaction with the user. Now, as you can see from some of these comparisons between GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT-4, the responses are more concise and more accurate, and there's a little bit more advanced reasoning. So it'll be really exciting to actually have a play around with GPT-4 and see exactly what it can do. Now, I'm gonna break that down in a further video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you again in the next video.